Alternative education is a blanket term encompassing many different pedagogical approaches differing from that of the mainstream pedagogy employed in a culture. Such alternatives may be found within state, charter, and independent schools as well as home-based learning environments. Many, but not all educational alternatives emphasize small class sizes, close relationships between students and teachers and a sense of community. The legal framework for such education varies by locality, and determines any obligation to conform with mainstream standard tests and grades. Terminology Alternative pedagogical approaches may include different structures, as in the open classroom, different teacher-student relationships, as in the Quaker and free schools, and, or differing curricula and teaching methods, as in the Waldorf and Montessori schools. Synonyms for alternative in this context include non-traditional, non-conventional, and non-standardized. Alternative educators use terms such as authentic, holistic, and progressive. History 18c to 21c. Alternative education grew up in response to the establishment of standardized and compulsory education over the last two to three centuries. Educators including Jean-Jacques Rousseau, Swiss humanitarian Johann Heinrich Pestalozzi, the American transcendentalist Samos Bronson or Alcott, Ralph Waldo Emerson, and Henry David Thoreau, founders of progressive education John Dewey and Francis Parker, and educational pioneers such as Friedrich Froebel, Maria Montessori and Rudolf Steiner believed that education should cultivate the developing child on many levels, not only intellectually, but also morally and spiritually, emotionally and psychologically, and physically. After World War II an alternative Reggio Emilia approach to early childhood education was developed in Italy, introduced by Loris Malaguzzi. Cultural critics such as John Caldwell Holt, Paul Goodman, Frederick Mayer and George Dennison have examined education from individualist, anarchist, and libertarian perspectives. Other writers, from Paulo Freire to American educators Herbert Cole and Jonathan Kozol, have criticized mainstream Western education from the viewpoint of liberal and radical politics. The argument for an approach catering to the interests and learning style of an individual is supported by research suggesting that a learner-responsible model is more effective than a teacher-responsible one. Ron Miller has identified five elements common to educational alternatives. Respect for the person. Balance. Decentralization of authority. Non-interference among the political, economic, and cultural spheres of society. A holistic worldview. In modern times, at least in some localities, the legal right to provide educational alternatives has become established alongside a duty to provide education for school-aged children. Localities. Canada education in Canada falls under the jurisdiction of the provincial government. Alternative education is provided in some public schools, such as Mountain View Montessori School, as well as in independent schools, such as Toronto Montessori Schools and Vancouver Waldorf School Origins. Alternative education in Canada stems from two philosophical educational points of view, progressive and libertarian. According to Levin, 2006 the term alternative was adopted partly to distinguish these schools from the independent, parent-student-teacher-run free schools that preceded them and to emphasize the board's commitment to options within the public school system. Progressive educational tradition places emphasis on both the need to incorporate curriculum and teaching to match the stages of child development, and the gradual integration of the child into adult society through planned experiential learning. The sources of stimulus would be from the philosopher John Dewey in the United States, from post-WW1 new schools in Great Britain and the Steiner, Waldorf schools in Europe. The libertarian tradition focuses on the rights of the parents and children to make their own educational and life choices. 
As noted by Levin, it is rooted in the belief to uphold the individual freedom and the innate goodness of the child against institutional and social conformity and the corrupting influences of modern society. School types The 1980s saw a shift to special schools and or programs for those students that excelled in academia, were artistically talented, or through programs linking schooling with the workplace in a cooperative venture. It might be considered as a natural evolution of education to offer options and not a regimented one-size-fits-all approach. Most alternative high schools falling under public jurisdiction offered independent study programs, basic skills programs, and were many high schools with a mixture of conventional and non-conventional courses, and schools with an arts focus. They also offered smaller classes, closer and more informal relations with teachers, and greater flexibility in course selection and timetabling. The most recent development within alternative education in Canada may be to follow the United States in their charter school movement. In the U.S. specific states have passed legislation permitting their departments of education or local school boards to issue charters directly to individual schools wishing to operate autonomously. Alberta is the first province that has already embraced this model. India Since the early 20th century, educators have discussed and implemented alternative forms of education such as Rabindranath Tagore's Visva Bharati University, Sri Aurobindo's Sri Aurobindo International Centre of Education, Krishnamurti Schools and the Pipal Grove School. Traditional learning in India involved students living in guru coolers, where they received free food, shelter and education from a guru. Progress was based on tests given by the gurus, and the system aimed to nurture students' creativity and personality development. Although mainstream education in India is based on the system introduced by Lord Macaulay, a few projects aim to rejuvenate the earlier method. Some students in these projects conduct research in Sanskrit studies, Vedic studies, Vedic science, yoga and Ayurveda. Others, after completing their education in a guru cooler, enter mainstream higher education. Japan Japanese education is a nationwide, standardized system under the Ministry of Education. The only alternative options have been accredited private schools with more freedom of curricula, teaching methods and hiring guidelines. Nearly all private schools require a competitive entrance examination and charge tuition, with few scholarships available. Interest in alternative education was sparked during the 1980s by student violence and bullying, school refusal, social anxiety disorder and, in the worst cases, suicide. The desire to enable young people to keep up with a globalized economy is an additional impetus. Free school is a term used to describe a non-profit group which specializes in the care and education of children who refuse to attend standard schools. The first democratic school was founded in 1985 as a shelter for children avoiding the school environment, and a number of other such schools have been established. In 1987 the first of seven Waldorf schools in Japan was founded, and other alternatives include a growing homeschooling movement. In 2003 Japan introduced special zones for structural reform, based on China's special economic zone policy, which enable the opening of government-accredited schools, providing alternative education. Two years later, the first such school was founded. Despite the school's high tuition, some parents send their children to international schools to acquire fluency in a foreign language. Although international schools are not certified by the Japanese government, many are approved by their native country and some offer an international baccalaureate program. Philippines United Kingdom in 2003 there were about 70 schools in the United Kingdom offering education based on philosophies differing from that of the mainstream pedagogy, about half of which are Steiner Waldorf schools. Summerhill School, established by A.S. 
Neil in 1921, was the first democratic school most have since closed, except for Summerhill, Sands School, Park School and Small Acres School, though such schools were until recently all fee-paying. The introduction of state-funded free schools since 2011 has been changing the educational landscape. So far only two of the statutory free schools funded offer alternative education, the Steiner Academy Froome, Somerset, and the Steiner Academy Hereford. United States A variety of educational alternatives exist at the elementary, secondary and tertiary level in four categories school choice, independent schools and home-based education. The U.S. Department of Education's document State Regulation of Private Schools reports on the legal requirements that apply to K-12 private schools in each of the states, including any curriculum requirements. The report states that it is intended as a reference for public and non-public school officials and state policymakers. The report confirms that similar areas of education are approached in a variety of ways. School choice public school alternatives in the U.S. include separate schools, classes, programs and semi-autonomous schools within schools. Public school choice options are open to all students, although some have waiting lists. Among these of charter schools, combining private initiatives and state funding, and magnet schools which attract students to a particular program. Independent schools Independent, or private, schools have flexibility in staff selection and educational approach. Many are Montessori and Waldorf schools. Other independent schools include democratic or free schools, such as Clonlara School, which is the oldest continually operating K-12 alternative school in the country, the Sudbury schools, open classroom schools, those based on experiential education and schools using an international curriculum such as the International Baccalaureate and Round Square schools, homeschooling families seeking alternatives for educational, philosophical or religious reasons or if there is no nearby educational alternative may opt for home-based education. A minor branch is unschooling, an approach based on interest rather than a curriculum. Others enroll in umbrella schools which provide a curriculum. Homeschool courses give students in-depth, personal attention in any subject with which they struggle or excel. Some homeschool families form a cooperative, where parents with expertise in a subject may teach children from a number of families while their children are taught by other parents. Self-education Self-directed inquiry is recognized at all levels of education, from the unschooling of children to the autodidacticism of adults, and may occur separately from traditional forms of education.